The international backlash over the new nuclear submarine deal struck between the US, UK and Australia is raging on, with France and China equally furious at the announcement. Paris called the deal a stab in the back, as the new pact means Canberra will abandon a 30 billion euro contract with France to build 12 new submarines. The EU's foreign policy chief, Josep Borrell, said it's a sign Europe must survive on its own. This move from the Biden administration stunned many in Europe who see a Trump-style course of action. We welcome European countries playing an important role in the, in the Indo-Pacific. We look forward to continued close cooperation with NATO, with the European Union and others in this endeavor. France in particular is a vital partner on this and so many other issues stretching back generations, and we want to find every opportunity to deepen our transatlantic cooperation in the Indo-Pacific and around the world. Washington insists France was aware Australia was going to sign with them. We are engaged closely, and we were engaged uh, in advance of this announcement uh, with leaders in France uh, about uh, about. Uh, this purchase. Uh, they were aware in advance of the announcement, yes. Since Britain's handover of Hong Kong to China, France is the only European nation to have significant territorial possessions or a permanent military presence in the Pacific.